early on when I was out um, doing my first features. In fact, probably one of my very first features that I did here on the Urban Gardener was with a gentleman named Mark Boucher Colbert. And he's a garden educator up in Portland, Oregon, as well as a, um, he works and takes care of this really cool uh, rooftop garden on top of a building in downtown Portland uh, for a restaurant and wine bar up there called Noble Rot. So uh, Mark is going to be joining with us here on the show each and every week to share his garden knowledge with us in a segment that we're going to call In the Garden with MBC. And again, each week, Mark is going to be joining with us here to share some insights and expertise in all sorts of gardening subjects. But for this week, our very first show, we've got Mark joining with us live. Mark. How's it Everybody, going? What a great Looks pleasure. Like Enoch, congratulations on bringing this dream to reality. Here we are live. We're having this conversation live on Let's Get Growing. That's so exciting. Great job. How about that, right? We are Amazing. here after months of planning. It's finally day of the show. Well, it's testament to your vision and all your hard work because this kind of thing doesn't just pop into reality. It takes a lot of planning, a lot of dreaming, and a lot of uh, just tough work it's kind of like gardening right you got you got to just right. be out there and just doing the work that's right absolutely and it's really again great to have you along with this whole project and everything we've been really good friends ever since we got to meet up on that rooftop a few years back and uh so again really great for you to be along doing your segment with us so what oh, i want yeah, to do I'm thrilled. So what I want to do right up at the top of this interview here is kind of dig into your garden story just a little bit. That's kind of what we're all about here on the Let's Get Growing show is talking about all of our garden stories. So I want to ask you just a little bit about your gardening experience. Well, I'll tell you this. So uh, in my first episode that I'm going to do next week, uh, I'm going to go into the mentors and the kind of the motivation for getting into gardening, because I'll say this right now. I grew up not gardening at all. I mean, I had no gardening experience prior to college, really. And, and just after college is when I sort of experienced that conversion to gardening. Uh, and I think we're similar in that way, right? We both have come to it at a certain yeah. point later in life. We weren't formed in it from the ground up. Uh, so I'm going to get into that a little more next time. But I will say, I'll give you a little bit of my experience over, over the past years. So you mentioned I'm the rooftop gardener at Noble Rot Restaurant. That's a wonderful gig. I've been doing that for 17 years. At the same time, I've been uh, working as garden specialist at Franciscan Montessori Earth School, which is out on the edge of uh, east part of Portland. A wonderful place. Uh, and I've had just the time of my life working out there with kids, trying to trying to give them the leg up that I didn't have, you know, give them, give them that formation as gardeners from a young age, teach them what real food tastes like, get them interested in the landscape, engaging with the landscape, learning about botany, learning about cooking. It's a multifaceted approach, really fun to interact with those guys. Um, I've been a microgreens grower for five years. Uh, that kind of ended in the midst of the pandemic, but had five fun years working with chefs in the Portland area, growing microgreens for them. And uh, that, that's a great experience. I love my chefs and I get so much inspiration from them and the artistry that they bring to food. Uh, so I get really jazzed about, about what they offer and, and I want to be even a better grower to, to please them. Still got that going at Noble Rot, so I still get that connection uh, with the kitchen and the creativity there, which I love. And then um, I'm kind of just about to release something big that we'll talk on the channel, I'm sure, about in terms of a, uh, a card deck that's for garden design. It's to help you design your garden better and to think through all the things that are involved in garden design, the elements, the values, the way things connect. It's, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So I've been working on that for a few years, and it's finally coming to fruition now. So that's just kind of a smattering. I'm kind of a generalist. Uh, I like 
get dabbling in a bunch of different things and uh you know that and i'm, I'm loving this show because uh, you're 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 feeding me up you're serving me a buffet of, of all these different incredible people i've never even heard of and i'm going to get to interact and listen with uh, on their garden stories and uh expand my vision as well so i'm grateful for that yes again really really awesome to have you along with us doing your segment and we really all look forward to all the things that you're going to have offered up for us each and every week in your segment um again i did mention here at the top of the show that i traveled up to seattle to go and check out the northwest flower and garden show i'm telling you that was such an amazing experience and that That's... was something that you turned me on to a few years ago so we've got to attend a couple of times together especially this last time was so much fun so oh. uh, tell me what did you get out of the show tell us a little bit about your experience with the show as well too well uh, you know uh, Elliot Coleman who's a, who's a uh, an amazing gardener and garden thinker and writer from from the east coast he talks in his book about one percenters that when you reach a certain stage of gardening you know you're you're just trying to get the next cool little insight you're trying to just trawl the great sea of garden knowledge out there and pick up one or two great tips so for me the show is you know, it's not just about 1%. I mean, I think I get about 21 percenters. So 20% increase in knowledge just by talking to vendors, talking to the people who have created these great display gardens, going to listen to amazing lectures. I heard a great one on, on uh, two in a row. I sat through botanical Latin was, was perfect and wonderful. I, I went and bought the guy's book. I loved his presentation. And then I, there was a great designer uh, from the East coast who talked about circles, uh, lines and tangents in in garden design i was like this is amazing so you just get these incredible people who are sharing their perspectives on gardening uh you and i talked with a couple of the designers of the display gardens super rich we heard all the inside stories we heard how they were sweating it out the night before because they had some leaks in their water feature we heard how they you know just move heaven and earth to make those display gardens so it's it's about the information, but it's also about the relationships and just the pure inspiration and also the fragrance. I mean, they import about 40,000 flowers in there. So it's just a wall of fragrance that hits you. And it's like, I am ready for the season now. Yeah, it really is. I mean, we were, we were really uh, enjoying all of the smells that are there mm. the things that you know with the video that i'm going to put out this next week you just don't get to you know you, there's not smell a vision when it comes to that <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> we need so, to offer you know, scratch and scratch and sniff cards that we can send to people while they're watching the sure. video oh yeah it was just amazing and you know again to all of these displays that these really you know these landscape artists we're mm -hmm. putting together with this thing is just just spectacular the sort of stuff they're able to do um i why don't you give us a little bit of information that you know about how how they get these all put together well you know it's interesting to talk about pe to, to various designers with their process because some people start right now they're putting their team together often it's a it's a landscape designer and then maybe they work with a greenhouse company they work with a nursery they, they pull together a team of creative people who are creating these designs because they have multi elements in, in a, you know, they must have about a 30 by 30 space, maybe some of them, some are smaller, but they might have a, a water feature, you know, that with a waterfall, it's six, six feet high. They have a big greenhouse. They have a little sitting area with a theme. It's just incredible. And then a huge landscaping all around with all these plants that have been brought in all covered with, um, uh, some kind of mulch. So, you know, the plants are still in their pots. They're going back to the nursery after the show, but it looks like it's just a carpeting and you don't see the pots and you, you know, you can dream that this is the perfect garden you've just stumbled into. So some people are working on this for months and months, but we also met a designer who was called in two weeks prior and, and she's a new designer and she just banked out an incredible design in two weeks a lot of these people are working on the fly. They're like, we get the materials, but we don't know where it's going to go. We place it. They have cranes bringing in 12 ton rocks into the big uh, assembly hall. It's, it's mind blowing what, what, what can be done and, and the, the level of stress, but also the level of creativity that these designers can exhibit. 
Yeah, really, really awesome. I'm so looking forward to actually going through all this footage and putting that video together for everybody able to see for themselves right here on our channel. So again, keep an eye out for that video coming up here this week, as well as a video that we put together, the top 10 with top Mark 10. Stapleton. The top 10 things that Mark loved the most about the show. So we'll also have that video coming out as well, too. So my last question for you here, Mark, is um, what can everybody expect from this really awesome segment that you put together for us in the garden with NBC? Well, yeah, even though this is a live show, my segment's going to be pre-recorded. I'll be on here sometimes live, but with you, but mostly pre-recorded. So I'm going to be covering topics in gardening, and I'm going to be bouncing around between the various locations where I garden. So for example, sometimes I'm going to be up at Noble Rot on the rooftop, and I'll do a segment of reviewing all the hand tools that I use up there. So that's definitely going to be one of the segments in the first 10 uh, I'm going to review books that are really inspiring or great reference books that I like. I'm going to be talking, I'm going to be down in my grow room talking about light in the grow room and starting your own plants and what you need to think about in terms of light. Uh, I'm going to look at stocking, oh yeah, stocking the pantry, like what you want to have at the beginning of the season in your arsenal so you're ready to go for all the different garden situations that can come up. So topical things like that. If you have suggestions, send them to me. I'd love to cover some things that people really want to know about. But I'll also be just sampling my life as a gardener. I'll be out at school sometimes looking at our school garden out there. And then in my in my front and backyard garden as well. Awesome. Awesome. Again, we all really, really look forward to this segment coming up each and every week here on the Let's Get Growing show with our good friend and garden educator, Mark Brochet Colbert. And again, Mark, thank you so much for joining with us live here on the show this week. Enoch, thanks for inviting me into this adventure. I, I can't wait. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. Again, yeah, when I first came up with the idea of doing this show, I just knew that I had to bring along my friend Mark to do a segment for us because he really is just a really knowledgeable person when it comes to gardening and all of that. And just really what he does in uh, garden education and teaching kids to garden and all of that is exceptional. And again, I'm just really, really looking forward to his segment coming up and i hope all of you tune in each and every week in order to check that out as well and also again as he mentioned too is you can get down into the comments if you're watching live or if you're watching the replay you can get down in the comments and you can throw some suggestions towards mark about some things that maybe you might want to see in his segment maybe some things you might want to learn about in the garden